Hi, this is Tom from ZeroToFinals.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through decor veins tenosynovitis. And you can find written notes on this topic at ZeroToFinals.com slash decor veins or in the orthopedic section of the Zero to Finals surgery book. So let's jump straight in. Decor veins tenosynovitis is a condition where there is swelling and inflammation of the tendon sheaths in the wrist. It primarily affects two tendons, the abductor pollicis longus tendon and the extensor pollicis brevis tendon. Decor veins tenosynovitis is a type of repetitive strain injury and results in pain on the radial aspect or the lateral aspect of the wrist. One notable cause of bilateral decor veins tenosynovitis is in new parents repetitively lifting newborn babies in a way that stresses the tendons of the thumb. For this reason, it's sometimes referred to as mummy thumb. Let's talk about the basic anatomy and pathophysiology. The abductor pollicis longus acts to abduct the thumb and abduct the wrist. The tendon inserts into the base of the first metacarpal bone at the base of the thumb. The extensor pollicis brevis also acts to abduct the thumb and abduct the wrist. The tendon inserts into the base of the proximal phalanx of the thumb. Tendon sheaths can surround tendons. A tendon sheath is formed by connective tissue, specifically synovial membrane, that covers the tendons and is filled with synovial fluid. The tendon sheaths help to lubricate and protect the movement of the tendons within them. There is a structure called the extensor retinaculum, which is a fibrous band that wraps across the back or the dorsal side of the wrist. The abductor pollicis longus and the extensor pollicis brevis pass underneath the extensor retinaculum. Repetitive movements of these tendons under the extensor retinaculum results in inflammation and swelling of the tendon sheaths. Let's talk about the presentation. Patients present with symptoms at the radial aspect of the wrist near the base of the thumb. Typical symptoms include pain, often radiating to the forearm, aching, burning, weakness, numbness and tenderness. There is a special test for decor veins tenosynovitis called Finkelstein's test. There's some confusion about what this is depending on where you look. Most sources describe the first manoeuvre below as Finkelstein's test, however it may be called Eikhoff's test. This test involves the patient making a fist with their thumb inside their fingers. Then the wrist is adducted, which means it's deviated to the ulnar side, causing strain on the APL and the EPB tendons. If this movement causes pain at the radial aspect of the wrist, the test is positive, indicating decor veins tenosynovitis. The original Finkelstein's test involves the patient resting their forearm on a surface in a neutral position with the wrist hanging off the surface and unsupported. The examiner holds the patient's thumb and passively flexes the thumb into the palm of the hand, causing the wrist to adduct with ulnar deviation, putting strain on the APL and the EPB tendons. If this causes pain at the radial aspect of the wrist, the test is positive, indicating decor veins tenosynovitis. Finally, let's talk about management. Management can involve rest and adapting activities, using splints to restrict movement, analgesia, for example, NSAIDs, physiotherapy, and potentially steroid injections. Rarely, surgery may be required to release or cut the extensor retinaculum, releasing the pressure and creating more space for the tendons. If you like this video, consider joining the Zero to Finals Patreon account, where you get early access to these videos before they appear on YouTube.
You also get access to my comprehensive course on how to learn medicine and do well in medical exams, digital flashcards for rapidly testing the key facts you need for medical exams, early access to the Zero to Finals podcast episodes, and question podcasts, which you can use to test your knowledge on the go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.